Welcome to the CyberWire's Word Notes podcast, brought to you by Juniper Networks, the vendor of choice for networking and security that just works. The word is script kiddies. Spelled script for pre-written code and kiddies for novices. Definition. Cyber criminals who lack the expertise to write their own programs use existing scripts, code, or tools authored by other more skilled hackers. Example sentence. Let's give out scripts that help every clueless script kitty break into thousands of sites worldwide, then knock off the one that breaks into us. Origin and context. The team at Live Overflow believe that the term script kitty probably originated in a private bulletin board that shared exploit code with their readers. They found a comment dated June 1994 that called out, quote, elite code kitties that don't seem to understand that those scripts had to come from somewhere, end quote. The very next month, another Bolton board member said, quote, even 99% of the wanker script codes kitties knows enough to not run scripts on the Department of Defense, end quote. And then in 1996, Live Overflow found exploit code on another Bolton board system with a written comment that said, quote, script kitties cut here, end quote. But all of that was in private bulletin boards. Live Overflow says that the first public mention of the phrase probably happened in 1998 in maybe the longest-running online journal called Frack Magazine. Frack is spelled in lead speak as P-R-H-A-C-K, and Taryn King and Knight Lightning founded it in 1985. Back then and today, the difference between a script kitty and a real hacker is that the hacker understands how the code works, the script kitty probably doesn't, and just uses it as a means to an end. Nerd reference. At the first presidential debate between Secretary Hillary Clinton and the then presidential candidate Donald Trump, the moderator asked both candidates about how to defend against cyber attacks. Secretary Clinton responded that it was a serious threat, as evidenced by the Russian attacks on American institutions, including the Democratic National Committee, or DNC. Candidate Trump responded that it was uncertain who exactly broke into the DNC, and that it could have been, quote, somebody sitting on their bed that weighed 400 pounds, end quote. In other words, it could have been just a script kitty. As far as the cyber, I agree to parts of what Secretary Clinton said. Uh, we should be better than anybody else, and perhaps we're not. I don't think anybody knows it was Russia that broke into the DNC. She's saying Russia, 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 but I don't, maybe it was. I mean, it could be Russia, but it could also be China. It could also be lots of other people. It also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? Credits. Word Notes is written by Nyla Genoey. Executive produced by Peter Kilpie and edited by John Petrick and me, Rick Howard. The mix, sound design, and original music have all been crafted by the ridiculously talented Elliot Peltzman. Thanks for listening. Do you ever wonder how your network can be more threat aware? That's what you can do with Juniper Network's ATP Cloud, the threat intelligence hub for the entire network. It detects threats, pinpoints compromise, and distributes threat intelligence to every point of connection. Firewalls, routers, switches, and even Wi-Fi access points. ATP Cloud also detects threats hidden inside encrypted traffic without decrypting. And right now, you can get Juniper's ATP cloud service for free. That's right, free. Find out more by going to juniper.net slash security promo. That's juniper.net slash security promo.